Absolutely. We want to make sure you're aware of what is coming your way. We are tracking the potential of some freezing rain as we head later into today into early Tuesday morning. So some icy conditions. We'll see some rain and a wintry mix. We could see some sleet in there and freezing rain where that rain just freezes on contact because remember our ground surface has been below freezing for quite some time now. It's going to take a while for that to warm up, even though the air will be warming. So primarily tonight into Tuesday morning, that's when we will see that taking place. And most impacts I think will be near the I-70 corridor in areas north, but really everyone should be a little extra cautious traveling tonight into tomorrow due to that potential for some slick spots and maybe some freezing rain for you. Live Guardian radar, this is what we have out there now. We have some pockets of some light snow showers down into Green County over Bloomfield field. We're seeing some snow moving on in same out towards Clay City, but it's the system that trails all the way to our south and west, even down into Texas. Where we're watching that moisture lifting north and east, and it's this system that's going to bring us that potential for some icy conditions as we head late into the day today. And on into early Tuesday, you can see the swath of winter weather advisories and even ice storm warnings are currently in place in southern Missouri and northwestern Arkansas. Here at home in central Indiana, we're under that winter weather advisory, where in our western counties that goes into effect at 4 o'clock this afternoon. The rest of us will see it go into effect at 7 o'clock this evening, and that'll go until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. But I think we could even see some concern, especially in our northern counties, with some icy road conditions a little bit longer than that. Let's talk about future view. This takes us to 9 a.m. and it's trying to bring in a bit of a wintry mix precipitation in here. I think we see this still as some light snow showers scattered around through the morning hours. Our air column is just still too cold to bring that down as a mix. And then on into the afternoon, while this isn't showing a lot, I still think we can have some drizzle that would come down in the form again of rain. And then that would be freezing on contact. That potential will be there. And and then we'll have that concern with more moisture lifting into the state tonight. This is 11 o'clock. That concern for freezing rain will be even higher in areas I-70 and north. But everywhere around central Indiana, just use a little extra caution and be careful of the potential of icy roadways into early Tuesday. This is 8 a.m. Our air temperatures will be warming. This is showing this is all rain, and we will eventually make that transition to all rain as opposed to some of this being freezing rain. But I think it'll take a little bit Bit longer. Even at 8 a.m., I'd still have that concern, especially in our northern counties, that we will still see some of this freezing on contact as the surface temperature just again takes a little bit longer to catch up to the air temperature and warm. As we get into the afternoon, the precipitation eases, but we could still be dealing with some foggy conditions at that time. 21 is where we are at this time in Indianapolis. 23 in Muncie and 21 in Bloomington. It feels like it is in the upper single digits and lower teens with the wind chill. Air temperatures should rise just above freezing as we head into this afternoon and then we'll be rising as we head into tomorrow morning. Again, that concern for some icy conditions through the overnight hours into early Tuesday and then we will have reduced visibility due to some fog that will be developing and this is something that we could see in repeated days as we head throughout the early part of this week. We have very cool surface temperature, warmer air coming over top of it. That's going to lead to reduced visibility. So tomorrow morning that could be around a one to two mile visibility and we could see those problems extending on into the afternoon too. 33 is our high for today. Icy conditions tonight, 41 for a high tomorrow near 50 degrees as we get on into Wednesday into the 50s into Thursday with rain chances daily Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday we're getting drier, but we are getting cooler. We'll see high temperatures trend down to the upper 30s by the end of the weekend.